Welcome to the fourth video in brushing up on algebra. This video will be talking about factoring and we're going to be doing it uh, pretty much exclusively by example. I'm not going to go into much theory, if at all, in this one. So let's look at this first example. We have this trinomial uh, x squared minus 5x minus 6. So we want to remember that whenever we multiply this out we're going to get something that looks like this. x plus a x plus b. Okay, I lied. I'm, I am going into theory. Uh, so remember that the a and the b will add together to make this middle term and they'll multiply together to make this last term. So that means we want two numbers that multiply to make negative 6 and add to make negative 5. Okay, well that's going to be negative 6 and positive 1, if you'll excuse the not so great handwriting in this example, but that's going to be x minus 6 times x plus 1 because um, negative 6 times positive 1 will give us negative 6 and negative 6 plus 1 will give us negative 5 and you can multiply that out to check your solution but this will be the final factored form of x squared minus 5x minus 6. So next we'll have a difference of two squares. So remember that whenever we have something that looks like a, a squared minus b squared, well that'll be the same thing as a plus b times a minus b. So here we have this uh, 16 x squared minus 25. 16 x squared is the same thing as 4 x quantity squared and this 25 is the same thing as 5 squared so this falls into the category of a difference of two squares because we have the subtraction sign here so that means this entire piece will become 4x plus 5 times 4x minus 5 and this is the factored form all right, let's look at example three, factoring by grouping, which sometimes seems scary to some people, but it's really not that scary. So whenever we have this 8x squared minus six, oh, sorry, that's not minus, it's plus 6x minus 9, uh, you'll want uh, two numbers that will multiply to make 8 times negative 9 equals 72, and add to make 6. So this 8 times 9 equals 72. We want two numbers that multiply to make the uh, the, what's the word, when you multiply two numbers uh, not quotient, <laughs> I'm bad with terminology. They will multiply to make the same thing that 8 and 9 multiply to make, 72. And add to make this middle term 6. So uh, the numbers, the, the two numbers that fall into that category would be 12 and negative 6 because 12 times negative 6 is 72 and 12 plus negative 6 is positive 6. So now that we have that, we have 8x squared plus 6x minus 9. I'm going to take this term and separate it into this 12 and negative 6. 8x squared plus 12x minus 6 minus 9. And now I'm going to factor those out. Uh, I just going to group these pieces together like this and also I'm going to have a I'll put a small addition sign here and group these two together so out of this I want to factor as much as I possibly can I can factor a 4x out of there and I'll end up with 2x I still have an x left there plus 3 and there's no no x's left because I pulled it out here I can pull out a negative 3 and I'll pull out when I pull out the negative 3 from here I'll have positive 2x left and I'll have a positive 3 left be sure to change this sign to positive 3 and now um, this was why we used the 12 and negative 6 because now we have common factor that we can pull out. And I'm going to finish this over here. 
So I can say that this is 4x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. Uh, it's not so great handwriting over, right over here. Uh, let's see. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Meant to erase just a little bit. And now I can't see my cursor. It doesn't matter. Uh, so this is 4x. What's going on here? Scratch that out. 4x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. And I've got the equals. So this is the final factored form because I had these. This was a common factor in each one of these. Okay, let's do one more example. And that's using factoring to solve equations. It's uh, probably something that's that's pretty straightforward, I would say. So we have x x squared plus 16 equals 10x minus 8. So the first thing I want to do is get everything to the left side of the equation. You could also get everything to the right side of the equation if you so prefer. Uh, makes no difference. So I subtract 10x from both sides. Add 8 to both sides, but I also have common terms here. Um, common, yeah, like terms, not common terms. I have like terms here, so 16 plus 8 will give us plus 24 equals 0. And now I can factor this out. I want two numbers that multiply to make positive 24 and add to make negative 10. Well, that's going to be negative 6 and negative 4. Because those two multiply, two negatives multiply to make a positive 24, and two negatives add to make a negative 10. So that means that we have either x minus 6 equals 0, which means that x has to equal 6, or x minus 4 equals 0, which means x has to equal 4. So those are our two solutions to the problem. All right, that concludes these examples. I will see you in the next video.